All right, we got SCP Orientation. Um, oh, my fault. Hold up. Let me go ahead and hit that subscribe, my boy. These are the same people that made the uh, 173 uh, short film, but this time it's a 035 short film. Uh, we're over here on the twitch.tv slot side, twitch.tv backslash Isaiah Cozy. Make sure you come through. We do a lot of a lot of fun things, but uh, let's go ahead and check this out and see what this is talking about. Slap it with a like and let's go. SCP-035 is to be contained within a steel, iron, and lead-shielded room at all times. Doors are to be triple locked at all times, with the exception of a Listen, first of all, get that nail polish right there, shorty. You know what I mean? Her hand kind of built like 096, you feel me? Them fingers is just, oh, my God. I don't know. Why am I nitpicking somebody's finger? I don't know. This shit crazy. Allowing personnel in or out. No fewer than two armed guards are to be posted at any time. Guards must remain outside at all times and are not allowed within the containment room under any circumstances. SCP-035 appears to be a white porcelain tragedy mask. A highly corrosive and degenerative viscous liquid constantly seeps from its eye and mouth holes. Fire. And anything coming into contact with this substance slowly decays over a period of time until it has decayed completely into a pool of the original contaminant. Fire. The origin of the liquid is unknown. Conversation Whoa, that's fire. Hold on. So what they have here... On the whatever this is, I don't know exactly what it is, but it has to have been reactive, reactive to whatever this is. So I don't know if it's black paint or what, or they maybe they put like a little acid or some shit because this is definitely reactive. It look like like maybe a little gunpowder. I don't know. Not, uh, yeah, that's fire. That's fire. Patients with SCP-035 have proven to be informative. Researchers have learned details about other SCP objects in history in general, as SCP-035 claims to have been at many momentous events. SCP-035 displays a highly intelligent and charismatic personality, being both amiable and flattering to all those who speak with it. It comes across as highly intelligent and appears to have a photographic memory. However, psychological analysis has revealed SCP-035 to possess a highly manipulative nature, capable of forcing sudden and profound changes to an interviewer's psychological state. SCP-035 has proven to be highly sadistic and can transform individuals into near-mindless servants with linguistic persuasion alone. SCP-035 has stated that it has intimate knowledge of the workings of the human mind and implied that it could change anyone's views if given enough time. SCP-035 appears to be a white porcelain comedy mask, although at times, it will change to tragedy. In these events, all existing visual records, such as photographs and video footage, automatically change. So they don't got no cameras in there, nobody watching her, I don't care, I don't care about the clearance level, bro, where's the security, bro? Change to reflect its new- Where's the security? Subjects within 1.5 to 2 meters of SCP-035 or in visual contact with it experience a strong urge to put it on. Shoot! What are you? I don't... You secure contain these nuts. Why did they shoot the... Shoot! Bro. When SCP-035 is placed on the face of an individual, an alternate brainwave pattern from SCP-035 overlaps that of the original host, effectively snuffing it out and causing brain death to the subject. The bodies of possessed subjects decay at a highly accelerated rate, eventually becoming little more than mummified corpses. Nevertheless, SCP-035 has demonstrated the ability to remain in cognitive control of a body experiencing severe structural damage. Even if the subject's body literally decays to the point where motion is not mechanically possible.
bones exist. Oh wait, never mind. The corrosive probably melted it. SCP-035 is to be kept within a hermetically sealed glass case, no fewer than 10 centimeters thick. A trained psychologist is to remain on site at all times, and research personnel are not to touch SCP-035 at any time. Where are the guards? No way you just sent a D-class by himself in there. Well, I wish you about to pick up the mask next. Turn to green, right? <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Here we go. Here we go, chat. Here we go again, bro. Bro, why why can't we just shoot? I mean, maybe it's immortal, so you can't. My thing is, like, at this scene right here, right? I don't know what she looking at. But clearly, this is not a video camera footage. But the picture changed from a smile to a frown. You don't got no type of comms where you could be like, yo, she about to put on the mask. You don't got no cameras. You said burn the mask. You can't. I don't think you could burn the mask. You feel me? You can send it to the sun. That would probably be fire. I don't see why they don't do something like that. Like, that's crazy. You said get the sledgehammer. What have I missed? You missed a lot, bro. But, like, bro, I don't understand it. You said cut it in half, then throw it in the ocean. What if it accidentally goes on the fish? Come on, now. It can it can literally be the mask on any creature. Like, bro, what are these soldiers are useless, bro. Just like in the video games, bro. Y'all real life don't do anything. And now she lost her, her best friend because of that. You said burn it with hellfire. Dump in the mountain of snow. Hey, bro, I, th I, th I just don't think y'all thinking with y'all brains, bro. I like how the janitor just picks it up like it's okay, right, exactly. But, yeah, this live-action little series is fire. Keep up, keep doing y'all think. Orientation, y'all are fire, bro. Fire. <laughs>